love when DIYs help us get the chic look for less, and this next project is no different. Monique Taylor Yi Shu is here to show us how we can get designer looking planter pots at a fraction of the price. I'm so excited about this. So, Mo, what was the inspo for this DIY? So I am really feeling the restoration hardware planter look, right? That aged look. But as we all know, it can be on the pricey side. So I have found a creative way that we can make it at home for less. Oh, we love to hear that. All right, Mo, take it away. How do we start? Okay, so first you wanna find your planter, right? There's so many different ones out there, but for this particular project, it's really important, I have to stress, to have one that has some texture to it, right? I have this one here. It has some grooves in here as well. I also found this one, which I found a lot of these. These have the smooth texture. But by doing this project, I did find that it was a bit challenging to really get that aged effect. So we do need to add that texture. So what you can do is you can get, I use this product here. I got this at my hardware store. It's called Drydex. It's like a plaster. And what I love about this is that it's pink, right? So what you wanna do, you wanna get your gloves, make sure you protect the hands because it is very drying. And then you just wanna take your gloves and just scoop some out with your hands and really just work it around the planter and you do this all over. And I know this one was textured, but I wanted to add a little bit more to it. And so as you see it going on and as it dries, it actually dries white, right? So you can keep on going and doing this all around. For the texture that I did, I actually just kind of did this with my hands. And as you see, it kind of adds that texture there and it will dry hard like that, which is really perfect. And you could even kind of just do some lines like so, if you wanna do it like that or get an old comb. So there's all different ways that you can do it. You just let this sit out overnight and let that dry. And so once that's done, it's actually gonna look like this. Oh, wow, that looks really good. But does that dry mm. quickly? Like, do you have a little bit of time to apply it and get it on to the pot? Yes, yes, this takes about, depending on how you think you lay it on, it could take up to five hours. So I would say it's good if you wanna either do it in the morning, go back to it in the afternoon, or if you wanna leave it overnight, just you'll know it's completely dry when it's all white like this. I think that's cool that it goes all white too when it dries. Okay, what's the next step? Yes, exactly. Okay, so then now that you have it, if you wanna add some color, color to it, you can definitely add some paint. So. I have these different color paints. You have to make sure that you have an exterior paint. Um, and you could use spray paints like I have here. You can use just your regular canned paint. And then you wanna go ahead, prepare your space, and then you wanna paint it all over. You don't even have to worry if it looks perfect because again, it will contribute to that aged look. And for this one, we're actually just gonna go ahead and leave it white just like this but again it's really important to go with that exterior paint because you want to be able for your planter to be able to brave the elements and of course when you're putting on that exterior paint i'm sure you do that in some kind of a ventilated space and put on the proper precautions if you got the mask and the glasses all of the things so that Absolutely. you're safe at home so we've done the exactly. paint if we want to do the paint or leave it white because it looks beautiful mm -hmm. the way you have it mm -hmm. and then what is our uh, next step in this diy so our next step is to get some dirt. And so you're gonna need your gloves again. <laughs> so I got a fresh pair here. <laughs> and you, <laughs> so you're gonna get some dirt. So I have some dirt here. You actually don't need very much. Um, and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take a handful of this and just rub it on. Oh. And look at that, right? Yes. That's you so just cool. Go ahead. So you're not even looking to, right? you're not even using the dirt to fill up the, the planter. You're using it to add even more of that gritty texture yes. to the outside. So does it matter what kind of soil you use for this? No, you can use just, this is just plain old topsoil that you can use. It could be wet, it could be dry, that's fine. But like, like I said, right, we had a, a very white planter before but now we have those beige tones in here we have with the texture it captures that dirt right and so that's where it's important to have that textured plant like i had this planter over here that i had painted 
But when I tried to add the dirt, it literally just slid off. <laughs> it looked dusty. <laughs> so what I actually ended up doing, I had I used a dry deck. So I took a sponge, dipped it in, and just did that to kind of give it that effect. So you have another way to kind of add that texture to it as well. That's cool. That's why we like when you try the DIYs, because you can tell us not to waste our time. <laughs> you will do it. Right. <laughs> we will know what we can do and what we can't do. Uh, but that looks right. so and, good. And yeah. Okay, so now once you have it all covered up, and you're good to go. So again, this was a white planter that we used, right? And we had dirt. But of course, you know, sometimes, like for example, on our backyard, on our patio, we have a more darker aesthetic going on, right? So we have this planter and actually didn't treat it at all. It had some very nice texture to it. And I wanted to still add that aged effect, right? So what I did, I'll just move this over to the side. You're gonna use some powdered cement. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna kinda do the same thing that you did with the dirt. You're just gonna go ahead and rub that along the bottom. And if you have a brush of some sort, I'm just gonna use this. You can kind of just do that. And what I really liked about this effect, it kind of, I wanted to create that kind of ombre effect with it. So you just do that with your planter. And then, again, you don't have to make it neat. It could be chunky in other places, a little bit darker in others. That's totally fine. And you just keep on doing that until you achieve your desired effect, right? Like, I know, I think that looks gorgeous, especially yeah, that's when you beautiful. put. I mean, right? Like, gorgeous. Look at that. Yeah, I love yeah. it. So, is there anything in terms of like a last step to make sure all that dirt or all that cement stays on the planter? Is there anything you need to do to finish it off? Yes. So, once you have the uh, the desired look on your planter, what you're going to do is seal it. And so, I have some polyurethane here. You also have to be sure to get the one that's good for the exterior. And then you can simply, if you have the liquid form, which is this one, I'd say using like this type of blunt brush and just dip it in and just dab it along until it's covered all over. You can get a bigger one because this is a much larger planter. Or you could use a spray, which I really like the spray, and you could just, you know, flip your planter over, spray it, leave it for about a couple of hours, spray another coat, and then you're good to go for that. In terms of the planter that you're using, the dirt, same deal. I do suggest if you're using the liquid and you have a larger container, probably pour some in a separate bowl because as you're dabbing it along, some of the dirt actually may come off in your brush and you don't want to put that and, you know, contaminate your nice, <laughs> fresh container. So put a bowl that's aside that, you know, you could dispose of afterwards and keep doing it. Let it dry. You may have to add some more dirt. If again, you find that, you know, you may want to add a little bit more texture, you could do that as well. And then another hint that I also have that is if you want to add a little bit darker color, you could actually use, again, some more exterior paint. And this can also be done between your coats of your polyurethane. You just take a sponge with a little paint and you could just, just slowly just catch those little edges there. And that adds, you could use black, I'm using brown here, and you could do that. And then if you want to, you know, rub it in a little bit to kind of, again, continue with that aged look, you could do that as well. Very nice, Mo. What a great DIY. Okay. Thanks for saving us some money and making like these gorgeous yes. planters that we all want. You can find her step-by-step -step no instructions problem. for this DIY up at our website, cityline.tv.